Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back to our series on Phoenix. Now, I uh, happen to get quite a few projects where we need to use some custom parameter. And I wanted to show you guys how you can easily set up your custom parameters when you have resources. And to show you what I mean, I have set up a simple example. So I have just a simple blog post. When you have your blogs, right, you're going to want to use basically a, a custom slug. Like over here, I want to use this test post over here. So ideally, you should be able to say post slash test post. And this should actually give you, um, you know, it should actually give you that post. So that way, it's a little bit more human friendly. And if I go back to my code and I take a look at my posts uh, everything else can be null except for I don't allow my slug to be null and my slug has to be unique because we need to basically treat it like a primary key now I'm going to show you guys how you can easily do this in Phoenix in fact it just takes a cute few seconds so the first thing I like to do is let's go ahead and let's do this little magic over here is that call a little bit of magic you can actually use a module attribute uh, it's called derive derive and you can say that you want to derive the phoenix param using the key of whatever that value is in this case it's the slug so now when we go back to here you'll see if i mouse over here let's just refresh this if you mouse over here you'll see in the corner and if i go over here now it's using test posts so this is how you can actually basically tell Phoenix which value to use for your parameters when you pass that into the helper. In this case, I change it to the slug. Now we want to be able to actually handle this. So how I usually do is I go to here, go to my blog section. And instead of saying get post, I'm going to say uh, we're going to have a new function. Let's just document it. Get a post by its slug. Get post by slug. And we pass in the slug. And in this case, we can do a simple, but let's do it like this multi-line. From the post where the slug is, sorry, from P in post where dot slug is equal to and we need to use the pin operator because we're passing this in the slug then we just do repo dot one and if we wanted to really mimic how we do things over here what we can do is we can use the bang and now when we go to our controller We can just go to here and say get post by slug. And we can make this a little bit more readable by using the word slug over here. Makes a little bit more sense. Slug, slug, slug. It's time for refresh. There we go. Everything's working again. Now, the only other thing to change, which I would like to change, is, you know, it's, it's just more of a cosmetic change. And that is, this part says ID, but actually we're passing in slug. So how to quickly change that, we just go to our router and we do a param. The default's going to be ID, so then we just say we want to use the param of slug. And we can even check this over here. So now if we do a mix phoenix routes, you'll see that now these have been renamed to slug. So now we can just change all these to be slug. And there we go. So looks like you just need to do a really quick refresh of the router and you're ready to go. 
So that's how you can use custom parameters within Phoenix. This is Alan from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Hi. Please feel free to ask us any questions about Elixir, Flutter, or anything else in programming. Here's our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll answer your questions every Friday. Ya mantai ge duk man all. Yo wenti ji da wen wo.